Hey everybody, it's Nabil here, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer files straight from your SanDisk Extreme SSD straight to your smartphone without having to go through a PC or a Mac or a laptop. It's super easy, it's way easier than I thought it would be. In fact, I've seen people showing you how to do this, and they've all said that you need something like this, which is an OTG adapter, or this is another OTG adapter. They also said that you need an external power supply in order to power the whole transfer, but actually it's not that complicated. All you need is your SanDisk Extreme portable SSD with the cord that came with it and your phone. Wait, what? It's just that easy. So let me show you how to do it. First thing you need to do is you need to reformat your SanDisk Extreme SSD into the XFAT file format. You can do this super quickly. It takes about five seconds on your computer. Check out my other video, which shows you how to do that. I'll put a link down below and there'll be a card at the end of the video. Uh, once you've got the file format on this changed, all you have to do is plug it into the cord that came with it on one end. The other end goes straight into your smartphone. This is a USB type C. If you don't have a USB type C input on your phone, you're gonna have to get an, an adapter for that. So you stick that right in there, turn your phone on, and then you're gonna go to My Files. This is on an Android device, My Files. And as you can see under My Files, we've got internal storage SD card, and here is USB storage one. That's the storage that the SanDisk is on. And so you see I've got 201 megabytes that's on my SanDisk now, and I'm gonna add some pictures to that straight from my phone. Now this is a two-way read-write, so you can send files from your SanDisk to your phone and vice versa. So I'm going to go into my images under my files, click images, I'm going to click on camera, and I've got a whole bunch of pictures that I took just so that I could transfer them. Beautiful pictures of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to press and hold one, and that's going to bring up the little circles beside them all. And I'm going to click this circle at the top that says all. That selects all the pictures that I have under my camera file on my phone. Okay, then I'm going to hit the three buttons up here and I'm going to click move. And it's going to give me some choices on where to move that. And I'm going to move that to USB storage one. And I don't need to create a new folder. I could if I wanted to. It's just going to put them just as is without a folder straight onto the SanDisk. So I'm gonna click done and the file transfer has started and the, tra the transfer has finished. It was just that easy. There's about, I don't know, maybe 35 pictures right there. Uh, you could do that with as many pictures as you need to, but uh, that's it. If you wanna go ahead and see if it moved over, uh, you just go ahead and click on USB storage one and it'll show you all your pictures that you have on there. And if I go all the way to the bottom, here you see all these pictures that I took. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful picture? Yes. Okay, so they're all now on here. Just that easy. I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions, uh, or anything you didn't understand, or anything I didn't explain, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to get back to you with any information that I can come up with. And please subscribe and click the little thing that sends you notifications when I have new videos. It helps you to see all my new videos and it helps me to build up that subscriber base. Uh, that's very important to me. And uh, hit that like button if you like this video. If not, well, I apologize. I'll see you guys all on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.